Hi Pisces, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, before we start your reading here, just want to say this is uh, your July monthly reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I did open up personal readings again, so uh, contact details are below. Uh, if there's an extended reading, an extended reading link is below as well. Um, I'm only going to do them if, you know, it it deems to be done okay so uh you'll know if there's an extended or not uh with the link below uh everything else again is below in the description box we're just going to get started here with your reading just also want to say thank you for all of your love your support your likes your shares i do appreciate you and connecting here with me on my channel so let's see what we have oh really nice energy your first card is blossoming abundance Second card here, you have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. You've got number 38, which is 11. You also have three. Okay, and we have anxiety, which is 18, which is number nine. Okay. All right. So I feel like um, Pisces, I'm not going to get too much into this because we're going to see where your cards go. But what I get so far is that I feel like there's something here. Uh, it could be a change, something new you're about to start. Um, there's definitely some sort of worry or anxiety, okay, around it. I'm going to say here too, it can be, you know, something that you're wanting to create, something you're wanting to start, something you're wanting to happen, okay? This is your love reading, uh, but I, I will pick up other energies. I feel like this could also just be in life in general. With the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, it's, uh, that, that Archangel is a healing angel, okay? It's also uh, the Archangel of the Heart, okay? So definitely, this could definitely be around a relationship, um, you know, or somebody here that's on your mind. So let's uh, pull the cards. Let's see what comes out. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Moon card. There's your energy there, Pisces. We also have Scorpio, Cancerian. We have the Strength card strong leo energy all right bottom of the deck here we have the nine of wands all right so what i get here in love okay i feel like you got a romantic offer here with the knight of cups something here that's uh creating um some sort of new beginning okay um but i feel like you know i feel like you're holding back a bit here because you have the strength card and you also have here the knight of wands you could be dealing with a fire sign an aries a sag and we have strong leo here all right i feel here you're not too sure okay there's some sort of worry around uh this offer it could just be that it's somebody new uh and you're not too sure but there it does feel like there is a little bit of fear here uh, you may be holding back right out of fear of getting hurt. But for others, I feel here this, you know, it definitely could be somebody here that you know. And you got your guard up, I feel, with this person. Okay, so we're going to see why. Let's keep going and see what the energy is here. Now, it could be, I'm going to say, with that strength card here in Archangel uh, Raphael, it could be there, there could be some forgiveness uh, that is needed here with someone let's see what else we have here okay so we have the tower we have the two of pentacles and we have the temperance okay quite a few major arcana cards here um and the nine of cups yeah i feel like this is going to be your wish all right I feel like you're the one here is who's going to be able to make the decision about the situation. There's somebody here that has love or interest for you. Now, with the Tower card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Temperance card, I get an energy here that um, it feels like this is a situation where there is someone here you're needing to give forgiveness to. Uh, there's a, there's a, definitely an energy here of... Uh, a reconciliation 
uh, if you're wanting to reconcile with somebody here. Um, but I feel like you're not too sure here with this Two of Pentacles. I feel like you go back and forth, okay? Now with the Tower here, I feel like uh, something happened between you and this person. Now it could be two here. You're not expecting to hear from this person. Okay, and like I said, I feel like your walls, your guard may be up here. You're not too sure about this person's intentions, and I see you here weighing your options. Okay, we have strong Sagittarius, strong Sagittarius, strong Leo. We now also have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, so I feel like just hearing from this person, um, uh, you know, I almost feel like it puts you on a, a little bit on edge here. Okay, so, um, you know, it may be you're not expecting to hear from this person or this is someone like you don't know if you can forgive this person is what I'm getting here. All right. So I'm going to say if you don't have love in your life, right, it can be somebody that's just very close to your heart. But let's pull some more cards. Okay, yeah, look at that. Two of Swords. Your energy is very, I feel here, held back. King of Cups. And we have the Emperor. Didn't I say that? I felt like you're in control here. You, it's also strength, strong Aries energy. Bottom of the deck here. Yeah, like I said, Nine of Cups. It's your wish here. Two of Swords. Okay. Um, can be indecisive energy. Right? Holding back. Not sure what this person is offering. Okay, in the extended, I will do an extended here. Uh, you know, we will look at what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, uh, and intentions and guidance. Intentions are key here. But we have the King of Cups here. I feel like you don't know how you feel about this. It definitely feels like there's some sort of worry. This may be somebody I feel here who uh, broke your trust. You may feel like you don't trust this person. And like I said, it may be a situation here where you're going to have to take some time to really, you know, think about how you feel about this person. So let's pull some more cards. Okay. I really pick up a strong energy Pisces. You don't know how you feel about this person. If this is somebody, right? You don't know what they're offering, whether you can trust this person is the energy I really pick up here. What else can you show Pisces here? What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Justice card, Strong Libra energy. Yeah, and we have the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. So... It's funny because you get, you know, not really funny, but you have the Nine of Cups and now you have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. It feels like this situation is going to go in your favor, okay, what you want here, all right? I feel like you are the one here in control. Now, there is an opportunity, I feel here, with the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card, all right? There is an opportunity, I feel, for you and this person to work things out, okay, to rebuild trust. I do feel like the energy that I'm getting here, it does feel like the person that you are dealing with is somebody who has mutual love, has mutual feelings uh, for you. Some of you, you know, this could be somebody you're married to, right, or somebody you're in a relationship with. Um, it could be somebody, you know, you're in separation with, but I see an effort. I see an effort between you and this person building trust together, coming together, um, uh, right. Your free will and your choice can change things, but I see here that, um, there's definitely an effort here being made. Okay. But I feel like, again, I feel like you have, you're not too sure how you feel about this person, right? And what they're offering you, okay? And I feel like there's some forgiveness here that's needed. Um, you know, and you know, with this blossom card, blossoming abundance, it does feel like there's an opportunity for you and this person to really work things out, okay? So I feel like it's positive um, for you, Pisces. But like I said, it's going to be your wish. Things, you know, you got the wheel here. Look at this. You got the wheel. You got the Ten of Cups. A lot of major arcana cards. And you have the chariot. This is telling me here that this is a favorable time. If this is a situation you're wanting to work out, 
and uh, move forward for the better. I feel like the energy does feel that way. So let's pull some uh, Kipper cards, see if we can get some additional details, see what else you need to know. And then I'm gonna take it to the extended. So thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Pisces? Okay. Oh, okay. Look at this. Uh, you know, it's just validating what we've already said here. You got toil and labor and you have courtship. Didn't I say it? I said that this person's going to put in the effort, okay? The dedicated effort I feel here um, in this situation, okay? So you're going to receive some sort of message from this, right? It could be a text message, instant message, whatever, okay? But um, I always read this this card for some reason. I always, it's like the message takes you back. It's almost like you, you don't expect to hear from this person or there may be some sort of, uh, you know, what they write or what they say. Maybe you're not expecting to hear that. So it's like the message takes you back that energy of, you know, it makes your heart skip a beat. Um, I don't know, I think that came up in one of your readings, uh, Pisces, before. But I feel like, you know, there's definitely an energy here. Um, I also get the energy with this too. It's, it's almost like uh, when you hear from this person or whatever they have to say to you, it almost makes you uh, reconsider right the situation because they feel like you're very guarded very held back not too sure you could trust this person okay so i feel like almost like a reconsider energy here and then you also have on the bottom of the deck great fortune which we have the wheel of fortune here too okay so i feel like this could be quite favorable for you right again like i said you always have free will and choice um so there's an opportunity here for you and this person to move things forward. So Pisces, I'm going to take it now to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.